Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The private defense ecosystem has been recently flourishing pretty well in recent times to aid India achieve its self-reliance goal in defense equipment and weapons. One such prominent private firm in the defense sector is Vem Technologies. Recently, the Telangana government has granted the firm 511 acres of land in Zahirabad where company will set up its facility for the production of its anti-tank guided missiles sniper rifles in partnership with US firm US in joint venture with Austria aero structures for fighter aircraft and UAV large structure for defense equipment and underwater weapon system for domestic and exports aero engine assemblies radars missiles weapon system integration activities to name a few The company has also proposed 1000 feet long hangar facility to develop the main fuselage of LCA Tejas and the airframe for AMCA. The firm has announced investment worth rupees 1000 crore for establishing the integrated defense systems at Zahirabad. The key highlight of this news is that firm claims it to be the country's first indigenous anti-tank missile called Asibal. conceptualized designed and manufactured in private sector and it is going to be manufactured at upcoming integrated defense facility at national investment manufacturing zone at zahirabad as per its founder chairman and managing director v venkat raju the missile has been under development for past few years in association with ministry of defense and public sector munition india limited supplying the warhead It is undergoing tests at different places. Once final approvals are in, the firm can go ahead with production and the company has license to develop 10,000 tactical missiles in a year. Now currently there are two main anti-tank guided missiles which are under service by Indian Army. These are Milan and Conker's second generation ATGMs. While Milan is a French missile, Conker is a Russian missile both produced indigenously by BDL. While these missiles are cheap but they lack latest technologies such as day and night all weather capability advanced seeker and guidance method which has become must in the modern era warfare BDL and Indian Army has also signed a contract in February 2022 for 3 year worth rupees 3131.82 crore for manufacture and supply of ATGM Conker's M to Indian Army apart from Milan and Conker BDL also offers Nag and Amoga anti-tank missiles Nag being a third generation missile offers wired guided version imaging infrared version and a millimeter wave seeker version however it is yet to be inducted into Indian Army the repeated delay and shortage of ATGMs has led to emergency procurement of limited numbers of fourth generation LR version of Spike ATGM. In summary, there are three indigenous offering in ATGM, which is Nag and its variants from DRDO, Amog 3 from BDL, and AISI BL or Asibal from Vem Technologies. Talking about Asibal, it is a third generation modern man portable fire and forget anti-tank guided missile, which company calls True Man Portable. It features a tandem heat warhead, which allows system. to be used against combat vehicles with explosive reactive armor and can penetrate armor of 750 to 850 mm thickness asibal atgm together with launcher fire control unit and missile weighs only 18.5 kg and is lighter than drdo's mp atgm which weighs 23.5 kg it does not need a tripod and firing post and hence can be operated only by two person making it truly man portable atgm asibal will have a thermographic camera and a dual mode day and night infrared seeker mwir making it effective against era protected vehicles at a maximum effective range of 2.5 kilometers it is also possible to mount the launcher on vehicles and is effective man portable anti tank guided weapon which could be preferred by even special forces it has default top attack capability and can also perform direct attack asibal with different types of warhead could also be used for coin operation 
in urban area to take out the hideouts such as small buildings houses where terrorists are hiding this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector